Into the ropes, they collide. Down goes Bob Boltman. This really is a sterling performance by Avil. He's now taken a tremendous amount of punishment, but he's still valiantly trying to make it back to his corner. And if he can only make that tag, the hitman is extremely fresh on the outside. The hitman, close to getting there. He is there. He made the tag. Here comes the hitman. But no, the referee in between the hitman and the action, apparently not seeing the tag. Will not allow it. Meanwhile, the angle sets it flat. He has full calm down, but there's no referee to be found, for goodness sakes. Well, he could have counted a seven there. Well, you couldn't hold the Russian down for longer than that. He was down for a seven or eight count. You're absolutely right. And quite now, quite honestly, now, morally, this is a victory for the Hart Foundation. But whether they'll be able to follow that through, well, time will tell. You're right. It is morally a victory, but still, the match continues. A tag, Zukov is in. Here comes your double team one more time. Thrusting the anvil back to the corner. Being that close to a victory may have given the anvil some more heart and maybe another resurgence of strength to get back to his corner. He has got to make that tag. It just shows you the resiliency of Jim the Anvil Nightheart when he can take that beating and still come away with a pin for certain. However, the referee was chasing the hitman back to the corner, and the match still goes on. Here comes Nikolai Volkov. And don't forget that was after a, a legal tag. They did make that tag, so Hart is not being lured into that trap of distracting the referee by the other side. Look at this move. Double close line, the anvil. Oh, he cleared house with both men, but he has to make a tag here. Both of the Bolsheviks are down. Many of the fans standing, cheering trying to encourage the hitman to get over, or actually the anvil to get over and tag the hitman. Here we are. He's almost there. Yes, he is there. And Bret Hart is in, and he's got to fight both men. And he's ready to do that. And there's tremendous power in those clotheslines. And don't forget, both Russians are very, very shaky now. They're trying to get the cobwebs over the head, but it wouldn't be time. Look. The heads collide. And the hitman picking up Nikolai Volkov for an atomic drop. And that takes power and timing and a lot of skill. The big Russian is 320 pounds. Oh, so close. It was a two count. Hitman seemingly moments away here from a win, but can he put it all together? Rolls him up with a small package and got a two count. Give Volkov some credit. He's been escaping here. And Hulk very, very careful of the situation, eyes his partner in the corner. He was looking at him to see if he was ready for that tag. Oh, what a move! The anvil over the top! No save by Boris Zukov. That was the only thing that prevented a win for the Hart Foundation. And it certainly incurred the wrath of the hitman. Look at him going to town on the big Russian Boris Zukov. Now from behind, Zukov holding the anvil. Or Volkov, actually. Zukov has a boot. And he nails the hitman, or actually the anvil. The referee saw that and calls for the bell. The anvil nailed with that boot. The referee saw it, and we're going to get the official word here in just a second. But right now, the Bolsheviks continue to stop away at Bret Hart. The anvil rises up with the boot. And he is starting to clear house here. Out go both of the Bolsheviks. In the ring, remaining members of the Hart Foundation. It was a tremendous battle for both tag teams, but in the end, it was the boot that led to this decision. The winners of this contest, as a result of a disqualification, the Hart Foundation. And tell me a little poetic justice there, as the anvil grabbed that Russian boot off the canvas and belabored both Nikolai Volkov and Boris Zukov with it. A tremendous win for the Hart Foundation over the Bolsheviks. Now let's go back to the primetime studios. Still continuing their winning ways, the hitman and, of course, the anvil, the Hart Foundation. There is no getting out. Forget about it. You're in there. You'll draw numbers just like it. I don't think it's fair. Well, it is fair. 
See, everybody would like to see Look Andre. at the Ultimate Warrior. Same situation applies to him. He's the Intercontinental Champion. He's involved. He's taking a chance. That's what life's about, Brain. I don't brain. think you understand taking a chance. something. I don't care about the Ultimate Warrior or anybody else. I'm concerned with the family. Not Andre. much left of the family, is There's there? There's enough left. There are World Wrestling Federation champions. Tell me who else is. Tell me. Come on, tell me, Big Mouth. Who else is what? The World Wrestling Federation. Hulksters, the champion of the World Wrestling Federation. The World Wrestling Federation. Ultimate Tag Warrior. Champion. Well, there's the only, only one. manager with a champion. I beg to differ with you. You've Maybe forgotten one. about a person, haven't you? Yeah, he's gone. Another round. Forget about it. Well, folks, that does it for this first edition of Primetime Wrestling in the good, new decade. I? 19... What? Been good, haven't I? Good. Haven't caused any trouble. No, Definitely. you're half smashed. That's I'm why. Smashed. That other, that other ego, that inner ego of yours, is starting to come out now. It, some part of that is not too bad. But there's still that great water for crystal we have here. Notice how you can detach the bottom. Will you stop? And listen to this. Let me remind you once again, folks, if your cable system best. is not carrying or does not intend to carry the Royal Rumble or any other of the World Wrestling Federation pay-per-view events, do something about it. Contact that system. Get on their case. Write a letter to your congressman or to your senator. They're sticking it to the people. This is America, folks. That's right. What would you do about it? What would I do about it? I would immediately send uh, who's ever in charge, whoever made that decision. I would put Andre in his garage at about 3 in the morning oh, and send the guy out there. Be realistic. Just waffle the guy will so you he can't Will you stop move. and be realistic? That's what I do. You certainly wouldn't want to miss anything that happens here in the World Wrestling Federation, especially coming up January 21, the Royal Rumble out of the Orlando Arena in Orlando, Florida. It's a fantastic pay-per-view event. If your system is not carrying it, you're the one that's going to be left out. You're... Done drinking. You, 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 you can bet on that. Could you handle well. another fine? I can arrange it. Another fifth? No, I couldn't. No, I'm not talking about a fifth. So once again, folks, let me remind you, it's coming up, a pay-per-view event. If your cable company's not carrying it, get on their case right now. I know I am, the brain will be, and everybody involved here in the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, I is got a lot of good friends and You don't have places. any friends. Not I one. I do. And don't You're forget. You're my friend. Let me ask you this. Are you going to go down to ringside at the Royal Rumble? Yes. Well, don't forget, Hot Rod will be down there and around the vicinity. Look what he did Until to me last week. Until next week, Gorilla Monsoon for the alcoholic saying so long. Your dad's here?